Well, as you can tell, we're doing some extreme agate hunting here. Found a nice little spot and it paid off. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nick Johnson from Wisconsin. We are excited for today. Uh, basically, it was gonna work today. I spent a few hours uh, working on a project and uh, was dicking around and ended up falling into some water. I got a little wet, slipped and fell into a creek. So, kind of a day ruiner. But it's a Saturday and it's non-mandatory overtime. I really didn't want to be working today. I got other shit I want to be doing right now. So right now I'm taking this opportunity since uh, we got some daylight hours left. It's a little too late to hit the woods bow hunting, but uh, we still got plenty of daylight to do a little agate hunt. And uh, since bow hunting started a few weeks ago, I've pretty much just been focusing on trying to kill some critters. So I haven't done any agate hunting. I really didn't do near enough this summer, so we were actually uh, driving through this area right up here uh, for work the other day and I happened to notice a shit ton of river rock. So uh, I'm going to check out a new spot that could potentially be an absolute banging spot or it's already been picked and it's gonna be a complete bust. Regardless, it's gonna take a little bit of walking to get to, so going to be a little bit of an adventure uh, but stay tuned next time you see me hopefully we're balls deep in some gemstones all right that's fenced off let's see here just gotta figure out how the hell to get to it. This will be a chore, but if we can get up in there, should be some good picking. All right, our sneaking didn't take too much sneaking. We were able to just come up under this overpass and get to this patch of rock. It's pretty sketchy, there's a lot of traffic around, but it could be the mother load. But we're just gonna get picking. Try not to stay in this spot too long, just since we're next to the highway. We don't wanna alert any authorities or anything. But, definitely gotta give this spot a look. There's a fuck ton of rock. Well, I don't think this spot has been picked. So I found a banger right on top. Yep, she ain't been picked. Another banger, right on top. Well, needless to say, we got a lot of picking to do. So far we got two nice ones, but it paid off. We found some unpicked rock in a pretty discreet location. I mean, cars are whistling by, we're right along the freeway, but uh, who the fuck? Nobody fucking knows what we're doing, so wearing some earthy tones, kind of blending in. Not gonna draw too much attention, but uh, I'm just gonna give this spot a look over because we got two more overpasses down the freeway here to check out as well. So I'm just gonna get to picking and see what I can find. Yep, she's loaded down with bangers, boys. She's loaded down. What else can we find here? be another banger in here somewhere. Ooh, big nasty. Well, 
Well, as you can tell, that was a quick little, quick little hunt. We just gave that, uh, gave that spot a quick once over, and this is the haul. Maybe spent five to ten minutes up there. Not bad so far. A lot of good chunks, like broken off chunks. Like, where's the rest of that? That would be great to find another amber chunker. You know, solid piece. Ooh, this one's real colorful. That's a pretty one. All kinds of different colors going on there. Can't wait to get that one wet. Ooh, a little banger, but another chipper. Just a little chunk broken out. That was the first one we found right there. That one's pretty neat. A little ice cream sandwich. We got this big old big nasty, just a big old nodule. That's pretty gnarly, the biggest one we found probably. Here's a beautiful little amber one, that one's pretty neat. All kinds of colors going on there. But yeah, big chunkers, just chunks man, like look at that. There's the husk, and that's just literally a chip. Like where's the rest of that? That probably came out of a pounder. We got this goofy bastard, I don't know what to make of this. I'm not even entirely sure it's an egg yet. But whatever it is, it's cool. Oh, there's a nice little banger. That'll make for a nice piece of jewelry. Nice little pendant. Maybe give that a little polish. A couple other little bangers. Just a little piece of candy. And that's probably the best one I found right there. Not a bad little haul for a quick five minutes. Uh, but we got a spot across the highway here. I'm gonna try to sneak over and get up there and check that out quick. Probably we'll give another five minutes up here since we're over here and then try to figure out a way to get across this highway but uh you know i haven't been egg hunting in a while so i had to take an opportunity to find some bangers and lo and behold i sure did i'm glad i made this stop and uh, checked this spot out although it's a little bit dangerous and uh, a little bit sketchy uh definitely worth pulling over and finding the parking spot to sneak up here all right well we just made it across we just picked that spot right over there right over there Loaded with rock. We got another one right above us. We're gonna go up there and just get to it, see what we can find. Here we go. First look, first look, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here, first look. What's this? Something funky. Try it. There we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. banger. Banger alert. All right, let's keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Well, this side of the freeway hasn't been uh, nearly as lucrative, but we found a couple nice ones. Big old quartz bomb. But, there's one. Now that's a banger. That made the trip worth it right there. That's the type of agate I'd go anywhere for. But yeah, it's kind of a sketchy spot. Kind of a sketchy spot to hunt. And my pockets are already full, so I'm gonna probably get out of here quick, go home and clean these up. Put together a little video for you guys to watch on YouTube. What do you think of that? So yeah. Ooh, there's another banger right there. Ooh, 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 might be the banger of the day right there. Oh, focus. That is a doozy. Wow. Well, we got time for one more quick one before we head under there. Oh, just a little piece of candy to end your day on. What a way. All right, let's fuck out of here.
Well, we made it back home with a little bit of daylight left, so now we're gonna do the reveal and show off what we found. Got a bunch of bangers, three pocketfuls, so let's see what we got here. There's the last little bunch. Oh yeah, solid hunt. Now, of course, best part of it, gotta add some water. These all wet, see what they look like. All shiny. There we go. Now we can take a look. Oh yeah, there's that big colorful son of a gun. That's a beauty. There's candy banger. Little chipper. That one might look good polished up. Let's see here. Kind of show off some of these bangers I found earlier now that they're all wet. Focus. Oh yeah, that's a good one. A little quartzy, but that one's got some nice banding. Beautiful. Oh, this one I've been dying to see. This is the first one I found when I went up on the other side. That's a banger right there. Ooh, colorful husk and all. That is nice. Some creamy white lines. This is another quartz bomb here. Floater. Pretty sweet. Ooh, I think this was one of the last ones we found. Oh yeah, that's a banger. Get some water level lines. Hell yeah. That's nice. That one's got some different colorations to it too. Oh, and this is the last little candy banger we picked up. That is a sweet, sweet piece of candy. Let's see. Oh, this one's cool. This one might have been the banger of the day, I think. Probably, maybe. Hard to say. They're all pretty good. This one was pretty neat, too. Whew. Bam. That might be the banger of the day. It's not the biggest, but that one's probably the prettiest. Most unique will make for the greatest piece of jewelry. Another pretty good looking pendant piece. This one I don't think is. It had some unique characteristics to it. Now that I look at it wet, that's a good one for the rock garden. Just chuck that away. Yeah, we got a couple good colorful ones here. Some different colors. That's a pretty cool little nodule. This thing is gnarly. I don't know what to make of this. Like quartzy, conglomerate, I don't know. Back to them ambers, blues and yellows, nice. It's just a big old chunk of junk. Ain't got anything going on. That's another good one for the rock garden. Just toss that one over there. You know, when you're out hunting a spot like this where you don't have time to just sit and stare all day, I'll sometimes throw them in my pocket and assess how good of a find it is later. You know, ooh, a little bit of candy showing there, a little band. A little bit of banding. Yeah, some cool rocks for sure, no doubt. There's another little cool one. But the reason I had to go hunt this spot Main reason why I had to make sure I went and hunt this spot is last weekend I was driving down to Iowa and I was sitting in traffic on I-35 and I saw a bunch of river rock piled up and I was sitting in stop and go traffic and I should have pulled over and stopped and looked for agates. I didn't so I felt like I'd let an opportunity slip through the cracks. And I was talking to my boss the other day. He just killed the buck of his lifetime and he said, you know what? When you get an opportunity, you got to fucking go for it. You got to make shit happen. It's the only way to kill big deer. It's the only way to find banging agates. It's the only way to make any of your fucking dreams work is to fucking see an opening and you fucking go for it. So today it worked out. We found about two, three pounds of nice banger agates. And it's because we decided we're not going to just fucking drive by these places that look like they could be awesome. We're going to go actually get our fucking feet dirty, get our hands dirty, get up in there. Get all up in there, balls deep, and we found some agates. It paid off in a big way. I hope you enjoyed this really quick, really fun agate hunt. I'm going to go 
cr crack another beer, order some Domino's. And I'm going to put this video together right away, edit this, and pump it out to the internet right away. If you like this, if you like what I'm about here on Hunter Ash TV, we do deer hunting, we go goose hunting, we catch bass, we go hunting. We do, we do all kinds of stuff. We hunt for banger agates because it's something that I love to do, and quite frankly, I just like making movies. So if you like this, share it with someone else you think will like it. I, your your support means the world to me. Uh, my plans are just to continue to grow and build this this uh, YouTube channel, this brand. So thanks for checking this video out. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on all the social media links. And we'll catch you later. Peace.